so we made it here to, let me try and get this correct, Terciera. Nope. Terci Terceira. Yep. Terceira. Yes. What? It's just Terceira. Oh, well, that's yeah. super easy. So we made it here to Tercera, which is the third island from Portugal, which is why it's called Third Island. So we're here in a marina called... <laughs> My god, they chose the hardest names for these marinas. Angra do Heroismo, and that is a huge wake. Thanks, guy. So we're tied up to this giant seawall that's concrete, and honestly, if you do come cruising in this area, Mm. Yeah. If you do come cruising here, don't get those big rubber fenders because they're going to pop. It's annoying, they're really heavy, they take a lot of work to make, but make yourself some rope fenders because we have them doubled up against the seawall and whew, we need them. We've heard that right now is the time to leave to the Azores to go across and we are so far from doing that.
Here comes Kyle. You can see that we spent most of the time crossing the Atlantic on this side when we're attacked because this area is super filthy and this side's not so filthy. Because most of the time we were on starboard tack. Hi, little guy. You're a funny looking fella. So, it's up? Oh, yes, yes. just left Wisdom for the longest time that we will ever leave her and it feels so strange but we're, we're actually really excited to go home and see our families and friends um, so it's very bittersweet but the good news is we're gonna get some sanding done on Wisdom's top side so she'll be ready to paint when we get back and uh, we're gonna make some money we're gonna try to fund the rest of our trip okay the yeah. craziest thing just happened. So apparently I am just incompetent when it comes to online bookings of anything. Hotels, <laughs> rental cars, flights. So we got there and the guy's like, you don't have any tickets. Yeah, he's like, you have a booking, but no ticket. <laughs> and we're like, oh, yeah. oh no. So we went to this lady who then found us tickets. Yeah, but she's, she was like, at first, like, we can get you the tickets, but they're really expensive. 1100 oh. euros each, which is still less than I was originally going to pay. Originally, the tickets were 2,800 euros to get from here to Lisbon to Boston to Baltimore. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, you know, these tickets are 350-ish euros per person. So <laughs> 700 like, euros to go straight to yeah, Boston. direct from Terceira to Boston. So, so we'll take it. Yeah. So, so our friend Scott is being amazing and letting us stay in his house tonight and uh, he'll bring us back to the airport tomorrow morning and we will be on our way back to Baltimore. <laughs> Take two, we are back in the airport <laughs> the second time. Avionics works in an airplane. We've got an eight hour drive ahead of us. Yeah. Check the description down below for information about Travel GNU, a website where you can book your next adventure even if you're on a budget. And don't forget to check out our link to Teespring, where you can find shirts, sweatshirts, tanks, leggings, and even phone cases featuring our original designs.